animating an object along a path using Maya. This is a very simple car. I want to animate it on a path, so I need to create a curve which will be the path it will drive along. I'm going to hit home to zoom out, seeing my entire grid. And to create a curve, I could use one of these tools, but I would like to use the CV curve tool. I'm just going to click a couple of times on the grid to create the curve. Hitting enter creates the curve. And I'll rename it car path. Now I want to animate my car along this path. So I select my car and shift select the curve. Then I'm going to go to the animation menu and under animate you can find the motion paths. And I will attach this uh, car to the motion path but I am going to look at the options. There are my options. Now I will just give it a start point, so it will be starting at frame 1. I want it to follow the path, and I need to get the axis right. So the front axis is the direction it will be driving in, and if I look at my car, it seems to be facing in the Z direction, so this is correct. And the up vector should be the Y, because that's the vector in the car pointing up. So that's all good. Not by accident, but it is. So I'll attach the car to the path and it seems to have totally disappeared. It didn't, it just ended up on the other end of the path. I actually want it to drive towards me. In order to do that, I need to reverse the path. It's now driving away from me along this path. So I select my path, I will go to the surfaces menu, because the logic of Maya tells me that edit curves is in surfaces. In the edit curves you can find reverse curve direction. And as I do that you'll see the car jumping to the other side. If I select my car there's the motion path under input and it has an animated U value uh, of 0. There is a keyframe with a value 0 on frame one. If I look at my timeline, I have extended it to 48 frames. I will move my current time to frame 48, change the U value to 1, which will make the car end up on the end of the curve, select the U value parameter, right click on it and key select it. And now my car will happily drive along the path as I press play you can see it will do that forever and ever and ever until of course I hit 